how many of you have heard stories from people who have experienced paranormal encounters in their lives? Most of you probably have. The stories you're about to see were told by ordinary people, just like you and me. Tonight, we'll explore stories from two islands off the shores of Singapore. Tonight, our first story comes from Pulau Tukong, an island off Singapore's northeast coast. People used to live there until 1996. Then it was acquired by the government to be exclusively used as a military camp. Ask people who have been there, they'll say it's beautiful, quiet, but hauntingly mysterious. People think I'm so lucky. Do an S, but get to sit in a nice office and enjoy aircon every day. <laughs> they don't know what I went through. They don't know what I went through. It was my first day of NS and being posted at the Gong. I knew it would be hell from day one. You'll be all right, boy. Oh, Mom, I'll hate the food here and I'll get diarrhea. The toilets are so smelly and dirty. Ah, yeah, no choice. You have to do NS. But wait. I've packed some food for you. Hey, look there. It's Mama's boy. Oh, boy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I better go. Be good, eat properly, brush your teeth, and don't forget to take your vitamins, OK? OK, OK, okay, okay Mom, boy? just go. La. Eat properly, brush your teeth, and don't forget to wipe your backside, okay, boy? <laughs> hey, you! Join the group! <laughs> hey, boy, what present did your mommy get you? Not your business, lah. Well, I know it's your diapers, right? Can't even go wee wee without your mommy, is it? Uh oh. Baba is gonna cry. Mama's boy is gonna cry. Stop! Very close. What do you think you're doing? Pick them up, put them back, and say sorry. I couldn't believe he wanted me to say sorry to Sticks. Hey, new bird! I didn't hear you say sorry. Sorry to whom? Don't ask any question. Just say sorry. Sorry, Sergeant. I better get going now. I don't want to be punished on my first day. The rest of the day was just basically settling of administration things. We filled up on our personal particulars and collected our army gear. The place was smelly and hot. Dire, no icon. Mama's a boy, eh? Hey, bye boy bye boy I was so tired. Never had to work so hard in my life. But I couldn't sleep. It was hot and sticky. I just wish I was sleeping in my own bed at home. Suddenly, 
I had to pee. I knew I should have gone earlier. Stupid place, so hot it made me drink so much water. I was careful. I didn't want to bump into that horrible surgeon from this morning. Dead, Sergeant. I thought something was wrong. He was so quiet. Excuse me, hello. Excuse. Disappeared. God, I had to get out. Wee King's trapped, fearing for his life. What will happen now? Will he be freed? Will the mysterious man return? When we return after the break, you'll find out. I never felt so relieved to see another human being. You're not supposed to be out this time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I was going back. You should be sleeping. If Sergeant catch you, you'll be in trouble. Yeah, thanks. I wasn't sure if I should say something about what just happened in the toilet, but I thought I should just warn him just in case. Hello, excuse me. and everyone was looking at me. Just didn't know what was wrong with me. Hi. Oh, doctor, what's wrong with my son? Uh, he's only resting. But isn't there anything else you can do for him? 
I think the best thing for him is to go home and rest for a few days. I told you, Newbert, you didn't listen. Now you have offended them. You must pay for it if you want them to go away. I'll, I'll do anything. Just please, please help me. OK, relax. The sergeant recommended my mother to see a medium. After coming back home, my mom took me to see a medium at a temple. The medium told us that my third eye had opened. And that is why I was seeing them. Things I'm not supposed to see. After that, my mother and I burned paper money for seven nights as a sincere apology to whoever or whatever I have offended. After that, I no longer saw them. Since that incident, I've been downgraded to clerical work, and that's how I ended up here. People say I've changed. They say I daydream a lot and look blur all the time. Maybe it's because I don't sleep well anymore. Even though I don't see them in life, they still visit me in my dreams. Unbelievable? Could Wei King simply have imagined it all due to his stress and fatigue on the first day of BMT, basic military training? Subconscious repression of um, a forced stay, like being a prisoner in a certain place. He, he was literally a prisoner on the island, wants to get out, finds some way to get out. So as a result, starts to hallucinate, and this would be the best scenario to create. And so he created this entire thing in his head, and not everybody saw the same images, but everybody has the same reverence for the Tekong stories. A female shape, long hair, with something like white clothing, and he was not facing me, he was facing towards the man sleeping. And at that point, he saw the guy come up screaming. And then he saw this person sleeping next to him, thrown against the wall. And he said that this thing just whoosh, go past him very quickly. Who was she? And why was she in Turkong? This lady uh, was waiting for his, her fiancé or something to come back from the sea. So something happened. If you're unlucky, you, you tend to meet up with her one of these gut duty. If so many people have had similar experiences or encounters, would you still rule out the possibility that it just might be true? Or are these just mere coincidences? After the break, we'll take you to another island at the other end of Singapore. That's when our next story begins. Working the graveyard shift in an oil refinery on an island, a technician suddenly finds himself all alone. But then he realizes he's not quite alone. My name is Gok Ming and I was once working as a process technician in one of the petrochemical plants on one of the offshore islands. That night, my teammate was on medical leave, so I had to do everything by myself. It was around 2 o'clock in the morning. Things get very quiet around that time. Rock Ming, this is control room. 
Coming, coming. Yeah, coming here, over. Can you come up to the control room now, over? Ah, uh, okay. I suddenly realized that I was all alone. Usually, there are some other workers around the plant. I thought perhaps they were all taking a break. The control room is on the third floor. Normally, I would just walk up the stairs, but at night, I felt tired, so I decided to take the lift instead. The lift stopped at the fifth floor. It didn't stop at the third floor. I was so sure I pressed the third floor button. It didn't stop at the third floor again. Be there. Hey guys, stop fooling around, man. Stop fooling around. No one is around. I thought maybe the lift was faulty. Once again, the lift didn't stop at the third floor. Something was definitely not right. Should I go out? Or should I stay inside? I couldn't decide. Then suddenly, I smelled something. It smelled like... Perfume. Like the one my colleague Anna used to wear. But no one was around. So where was the scent coming from? What's happening? What's happening? I was so scared, I was breathing really hard. And someone else was breathing next to me. <sighs> Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> I didn't even know what I was praying about and to whom. I just prayed so I can get out of the lift in one piece. <laughs> then something happened. The perfume smell, it was changing. It was turning to something. It was a foul odor, like there was a dead rat in the lift. <laughs> and then, the door opened. <laughs> I ran out as fast as I could. I didn't know which floor I was on and I didn't care. I just ran. What happened? Francis, Francis, the, the lift, the lift. The, something on the lift, there's someone on the lift. I, I don't, Relax, the, the, relax. Then, I get the, you some water. No. I'm telling you that. Something on the I tried to explain what I just went through. I wasn't sure he would believe me. Yeah. <coughs> Take it easy, okay? I think, okay, I, I really... It was playing on you. Huh? It... Playing? What are you talking about? You've not heard about this? Heard about what? So many people kena already. Hey, kena what? Hello. Aziz, Raju, and even myself, kena already. But, hey, but nobody mentioned anything to me before, no? Of course, what? You think you want to broadcast it? Huh? Eat? Hey, what is eat? And what is eat hanging around here for? Hi, uh, young people nowadays. You people hey. don't know anything. 
He explained that the island the plant is on is made up of seven smaller islands. Three of the islands had several kampongs on it, and there were roughly three grave sites altogether. Whether the villagers were asked to move because of consolidation is uncertain. But spirits of those graves are said to be lurking around this island now. And for all we know, this plant might be standing on a grave. This plant is on... Oh, that's, that's scary, man. I mean, like, didn't they, like, exhume the remains or something first? I don't know. And I don't want to know. Do you? Uh, no, no, no. I felt better knowing that I wasn't the only one who had encountered it. Hey, oh yeah, Francis, I almost forgot. Now what? Hey, what you call me up here for? Huh? I didn't call you to come up. Oh, yeah, you call me on a walkie-talkie just now, what? Uh. Oh, I don't have a walkie-talkie. But I... I my How walkie, can I, I call you on your walkie-talkie when I don't have one? Eh? Hey? But if you didn't call me... Then who called? Was it that caught Kok Meng? Did Kok Meng really feel the presence? Or was it all a hallucination? A hallucinatory experience that happens with lack of sleep. And that's probably what happened in this case. And probably what happened to a lot of other people who also describe similar situations. Now, of course, the human mind cannot exist with incompletes like this. So it starts to build fantasy. It starts to build legend. And it starts to look into the history of the place. This must have been built on a graveyard. This must have been built on somebody's tomb. Or someone was murdered in this elevator. So on and so forth. The, the human mind loves stories like this. So as a result, it puts to rest the feelings of eeriness, etc., etc., until, of course, you're tired and you're caught alone, and another incident happens with the power surge. Despite all the ghost stories we hear all around us, most of us are still skeptics, because we live in the age of science and reason. But then why is it when we hear stories of ghosts or spirits, we find ourselves listening closely with such fascination? And when we're alone in the dark, what is that fear that slowly creeps in our hearts? And what would it take to make you a believer personal encounter of your own, perhaps? Until then, we can only wonder at other people's encounters. Good night and sweet dreams. Corp Studios production for Channel 5.